Hey there, retro lovers, and welcome to Platform 32. It is 6.05 p.m. GMT here in the UK, and uh, I am ready to show you off some more Evercade, my second Evercade stream of the week, because I've got so many games to try out. Uh, recently, the uh, lovely Evercade lot released a brand new console called the Evercade Versus. And, oh, do you know what? I haven't set up my my camera for the... I haven't set up my camera properly for the, uh, you know, the close-ups of the console. So I'll hold it up here. Got the lovely Evercade Versus console here. Um, the Evercade Versus is the second console that um, uh, was released in the Evercade line. The first was the Evercade handheld. Now, the Evercade Versus is a console that allows you to play up to four players at a time, uh, depending on whether the game allows four players or not. And there's four controller ports in the front of it. Each controller has a little uh, USB plug. The controller plugs into the front of the console, and with the controller, you can control the games. But if you watched my other stream of uh, my other advocate stream earlier this week, you'll know that you can control the games with something other than the controllers as well. You can actually control the games on the Evercade versus with an Evercade handheld console. I couldn't do that on my stream on Monday, I think it was, because I lacked the necessary cable to do it. So I ordered one off uh, the Evercade website, and it came this morning. Uh, the Evercade versus Link Cable is what it's called, and it is this. This looks basically like a standard USB cable, maybe a bit more higher quality, um, but nice Evercade Red. That came through the post this morning, so um, I'm gonna be trying this out live for you lot right now. Um, I've, I've not tried this Evercade Link Cable out or tried out using an Evercade handheld as a controller on the Evercade Versus, but uh, yeah, that is going to be part of the stream. I'm going to do that as well. It's a very long cable, really long actually. Um, some of the uh, recent retro releases, like the NES Mini, I remember, had very short cables and it was quite annoying getting a good position to play it in. Uh, when the cables for the controls were so short. But this is really long. I don't know what, maybe two meters long? How long is it? It's very long anyway. I can't hold it fully straight with my arms out wide. Does it say? Oh, I can't see where it says the length. So just take my word for it. It's long. It's long enough to probably have the console on your TV unit and then you on a sofa, which is all you want really. Uh, the two cartridges I'm going to be doing today are cartridges 1 and 2 of the Evercade Arcade carts. Now, normally, if you've seen Evercade streams on this channel before, you'll know that normally uh, all the the branding is, is kind of like a red colour, pretty much the same colour as the red on the console. These ones are purple which shows that they are the arcade carts. That means these have um, these have arcade versions of the games uh, on them. So uh, these won't be home console versions of the games like you would get on normal arcade carts, the, uh, on normal arcade carts. The games you'll find on here are the games you may have gone and played at arcades you know, taken a, a pocket full of 10Ps and played in an arcade in the 80s and stuff. Uh, these ones have uh, varying numbers of players available. Uh, I don't know how many... I don't know if there are any four-player games on these or not. There's definitely some two-player ones, like Double Dragon games and things. Um, that'd be a cool Evercade cart to release. I've joined the Evercade uh, Discord recently, and there's a wish list on there. And I was like, what What could I... Is there anything I want? I don't really know. But I've just thought of one. An Evercade arcade four-player cart with things like Gauntlet and, I don't know, Teenage Mutant Ninja. You probably can't get the license for that. Or The Simpsons. But like a four-player, dedicated four-player 
um, arcade game cart. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be going through these two carts today. And there's going to be... The, I've, I've also got carts three and four, but they'll be done on another stream next week. I'm going to start off with the Technos Arcade cart. So I'm going to slot that in right now. Like so. You should be able to hear it clicking in. There you go. And this has got the first set of games going. So this is the Technos Biarc System Works Arcade One cart. Now, uh, next thing to do is I'm going to unplug my uh, standard versus controller. I'm going to see what happens when I when I plug this in. I don't know. Will the screen light up or is it just like a normal? Does it just work as a controller? Let's find out. Do I have to turn it on? So I've plugged this in. It's not moving. What if I turn it on? Well, not going to work now, is it? Uh, it's loading up. The Evercade logo on the front of it. I don't know if there's something I'm going to need to do to... Maybe there's something I need to do in the settings to set it as a controller. Hold on. Menu. System. Controller mode. Here you go. Controller mode. Hold menu for five seconds to exit. Okay. So now, so in the menu, you have to, you have to go into the settings menu and then you turn it onto controller mode. To turn it off controller mode, you have to hold down the menu button, which is this one with the green light. Oh, you won't be able to see the green light because it's keyed out, but it's this button here. You have to hold that down for five seconds to turn it off of controller mode. But now, I am, uh, I, I have now got a third controller for my Evercade Versus, which is nice. Um, so, that's good. Right. Hope everyone's well today. Uh, it is Thursday, so it's nearly, nearly the weekend, everyone, which is excellent news. Now, before I kick off with the games, I will give a sh quick shout out to the people at the start of the stream who are already chatting. We've got off-world botulin, Claire T-Rex, Cleaver Slips. Hey, Sean. Uh, Sean is from Evercade. Uh, Dragon Botherer, uh, Cleaver Slips even is from Dra uh, Evercade. Dragon Botherer, Eric Franklin, Gavin K86, J Dovey, aka Marvel's Jacket Man. Kate Lily, Keaton Belliston, Lacroix Boy Marks, Lee, uh, Olia, Long Lash, Coffee Cat, Coffee Cat for short. Her name is Long, but it's all so short. We've got um, Martin Stunenberg, Nightcat, Nyang Filer inspired zombie, Nick Tenebris, Senior Zorro, Senior Zorro, Spider Man 2099, Tyler Vandal, one of 64 bits, and XY Xerethis. You're all chatting over on YouTube, and we got a few people chatting on Twitch as well. First time viewer, Mike Snicked says, yo, yo, Nightcat and Gavin are over there. So is King6024, uh, Bell Gareth, Space Opera Copter, Dog Party Guy uh, as well. So welcome one, welcome all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play some games using the Evercade as a controller for my Evercade versus. I'm going meta. So this first cart, the Technos, Arcade One Cart has a grand total of two, four, six, eight games on it. Included in the box is uh, your standard Evercade instruction manual, full colour, nice and small, a little bit of detail on each one. It's got, it's got that quite. It's got a, it's got a nice new new game manual smell to it. To be fair, one of the old pleasures of getting a new game that kids nowadays don't understand and uh, I'm gonna kick off I'm just gonna play them in alphabetical order I've got um, one hour 45 minutes left on this stream I need to finish about eight so I can go and have my dinner so about 50 minutes each is that right I'm gonna do half and half <laughs> I'm gonna try and give each cart the same amount of time so we're gonna start off with battle lane volume 5 this is the ultimate in mobile combat. Battle Lane takes, takes you on, an ex, on a most exciting and intense motorcycle mission. 
penetrate the enemy base and destroy their secret weapon. Well, uh, I'm all up for penetrating things, so let's do it. I've never played this game before. Um, I don't know what it's like or how it plays. It's two players. It looks like it's a scrolling shooter. And it was made in 1986. I can leave the motor... I'll move the motorcycle. Wow, I can't read today. I can insert coin with the select button. Cool. Uh, I can fire machine gun with B and fire missile with A. All right, let's... Let's do volume... What's happened to volume f 1 to 4? Oh, look at that. That's when you know you got a proper arcade game. When it's like a vertical CRT, a CRT monitor on its side. Right. I was like, this isn't controlling very well. What's going on? It's because I need to insert some coins, I think. Okay, so I'm inserting coins with the select button. Look how rich I am. I'm, select I'm putting in all the coins. This is all of my pocket money going in at once. All right. Start. I've got 61 credits. I won't use them all up because I've got other things. I've got other games to play. But I'm quite interested to see how this uh, how this game plays because I've never in my life heard of it before. Okay, so we moving. We've got machine gun shooting. I don't have a rocket launcher yet, I don't think. Oh! Ooh! Fell off my bike just before the rocket launcher. Gutted. Any of you watching uh, today remember this game from the arcades? Did you play this back in the day on the arcades? Or is this like a curiosity uh, for you as much as it is for me? I like discovering new old retro games. Oh, that's a, okay. I, th I picked up one rocket launcher. Ah, oh, fudge. And I didn't get to shoot it because I was uh, I was so distracted by the rockets coming the other way. But I, uh, I did not dodge the bullets from the little van. D does it save? I've got five missiles. Fuck! I had five missiles. Okay, I did terrible. That was my first ever time playing that game, just saying. Just saying. My hair's in a mess today. More than normal. I didn't put any product on it once I got out of the shower, so it's a big fluffy mess. It has got quite cool music. Yes. Uh, did the UK have anything similar to the FBI Don't Do Drugs warning that played before every game on the US cabinets? Uh, says uh, Keaton Belliston. We had that exact same uh, message. I was pressing the wrong button there. Uh, we had that exact same message on uh, some arcade machines and some some uh, home computer games as well, just because they didn't, you know, they, they were just ports. Oh, I'm doing terrible. I am a noob, busy bee, it's true. Dude, I do enjoy the You Die jingle, says Tyler. Okay, right, let's concentrate. I want to... Fuck! I won't do that until after the stream. I want to play... I want to get the rocket launcher and at least fire one rocket launcher. I'll tell you what this kind of reminds me of. This kind of reminds me of Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade, that bit where Indy and his dad are on the motorbike and they're shooting at Nazis. This is absolutely nothing to do with that, but... It's just the, the shooting guns on motorbikes thing that's... Whoa! This game's difficult, and also, I'm rubbish. I do, I appreciate the fact that in the bottom left, where there are lives, when you have multiple lives... Right, I'm firing a rocket, I missed everyone, but... <laughs> I appreciate that on the bottom left, where you have lives, when you have more than one life, it says men, but when you have one, or zero, it just says man. That's excellent work. I'm just going to try, try my best to concentrate now. Fuck! It moves quite fast. It's a tricky one, this game. I think a little bit of practice, though. Okay, right. I've got infinite credits. I can play this for as long as I bloody want. Oh, tits! Mm. 
This CRT filter is impressive, says Botulin. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Um, I've got the faint CRT um, filter on. If I... Um, oh, there's a menu nibber. Oh, okay. So using this... I, right, I'm going to have to not use... I'm going to have to use the actual traditional controller. Because one thing that I don't think you can do when using the Evercade as a controller is bring up this menu. So I've currently got the... Um, I'm using this controller again now. So I've currently got the display settings to original ratio and subtle scan lines. You can make... You can have stronger scan lines if you want. But I just... I like having the... I like having the scan lines there. But, you know, subtly there. As it says on the tin. Okay. So I wonder if uh, in volumes uh, one to four of this game, you uh, also ride motorbikes. Okay, this is... Oh, shit. I was just about to say I'm getting the hang of it now. Doodle-doodle-doon, doon, doon. Shit chat. Okay, rockets. So you get... I think you get five missiles with each pickup. Bloody hell! Shot me in the tyre. Ah, oh, dang. Absolutely terrible with Battle Lane Volume 5. Arcade machines are always a little bit harder than home console games. Though, just because they want to get the money out. This time. This time I'm going to get somewhere. Okay, this time I'm going to get not battered. Is, is, uh, is a good... Uh, 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 okay. they t How dare they be able to fire in all angles when I can only fire forward? It seems unfair somehow. I'm doing better. Missiles, missiles. Big missiles. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, now I've stopped thinking about other things like words and speaking. I'm doing a bit better. My brain can only concentrate on one thing at once. Ooh, this is a big car. Fuck. Oh, there's more big cars. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Where did that wall come from? <laughs> hey, Muskrat, how's it going? Am I right back at the beginning? Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, good. That's excellent. That I'm not. Ah, nice. Breakdown, 57%. Oh, wh What's happening? Oh, shit! There's guns to left of me, guns to right of me. Oh, shit. Just, what did you shoot at me, sir? Player one, ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they just... These guys are coming up from the bottom. Infinitely? Looks like I can only fire the rocket. Oh, I think... I, uh, so I have to fire the rocket and break the wall down. Okay. Okay. I get it. All right. Well, battle lane five... That seems quite fun, actually. It's quite fun, but it's double hard. It's double hard. So good job. We can get infinite credits on this one, eh? Okay, dokie. Let's um. Let's quit that one, and we'll see what's the next block out. The ultimate 3D mind teaser. Well, I definitely don't need anything else teasing my mind right now. Spin block around Z axis, spin block around Y axis, flip block around. Oh, this is like a 3D Tetris. Oh no. Let's give this a go. 1989. So this one is th came out three years after um, Motorbike uh, Battle Lane Volume 5. So there you go. A button that way, B button that way, C button that way. Whoa. I am a block. And I dare you to 
beat me at Blockout. Challenge me. That just, just spoke at me. Just spoke to me. Okay. The AI is sentient, everyone. Okay, I'm putting some coins in. Right, it's got seven coins in this time. Warm up. I like the sound of a warm up. Challenge me. Oh, I'll challenge you, all right. Okay, so you move the see-through block around. Is there a block? Oh, that, that spins that way. That spins that way. That spins that way. Okay. Is there a is there a fast drop? I didn't. I'm not sure. Oh yeah. So if you hold the button down, there's a fast drop. Now what I've done here is. I've dropped one vertically. It seems kind of like hard to... Oops. How big's that one? Okay, I'm 100% going to leave a gap if I... I need to... Yep. And slot this one. Oh. Slot it right in. No. That just needs to go straight down like that. Go on, in you go. Bloop. Okay. This one... Is this just a big, big cube? Yeah, this is just a cube. This is a, a one, one-sized cube, huh? Okay, we'll pop that in there. This is another, just one square. This is a bigger one. Let's have it like that, and slide it down like that. Okay. This is a big long one. Let's slot that in there. This is, how many is that? Is that three? Okay, that's a three, so let's go down there. This is a cube again. Is it a one? I think that's a one. So I'm gonna slide that down. That did one. One of one of the one of the layers has been destroyed. So it's, it's a little bit difficult, this one, to kind of work out how many layers there are. Like, and if you've filled a layer properly, you've just gotta kinda of remember almost. But I'm doing alright so far. This is a single square, but it's long. This is a two, but it's long. This is a... Let's put that in the corner. Nobody puts blocky in the corner. I do. Wow. This is giving me all the green ones. It's just giving me exactly the same blocks, my friend. Ooh. Oh, no. I've miffed that one up. Okay, that's a single one, actually. Let's go right in with that. Nice. That's a single in. This is a single one. So I think I've one of the layers I've screwed up slightly. This is a two. Let's go there. Ooh, I don't know what that wibbly wobbly noise is. Entails, but there you go, I've, I've put that. So, remembering which button twists it which way is a little bit confusing, but I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting the hang of this. This is quite good fun. Oh, shit. I didn't remember which button did which. I can go there. This is... No! Oh, fuck! Okay, so, there. So I've made it lengthways, drop that in that hole there. I need to make this that way, drop that down there. Wonderful. In there, yeah. This looks like a little one I can just slot in there. Okay, that got rid of a layer. Is that gonna get rid of a layer? No. I think I'm reaching the point now where I have made some mistakes with the layers. So there's some holes hidden away underneath. Uh, okay, this is a singular one. See, that didn't, that didn't uncover one of my holes. So, uh, yeah. This is a singular. There we go. Nice. I did, I did the four layers it needs. That was good. I enjoyed that. You are. 
I am a worthy opponent, thank you. And thank you, Nightcat, for deleting the weird spam bot. Challenge guy would be terrifying in VR. This would work really well in VR, actually, because you'd be able to look around it and kind of work out the depth things are. So the pit is 3 by 4 times 11 at the moment. So as long as I don't go higher than 11, I should be all right. This one is thinner than the last one. So is that a... Yeah, look at that. Boom. Block out. Block out. He's weird. I kind of like him, but he is weird. Thanks for Super Chat, Steve Scoes. He says, hey, it's an Ian stream. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Thank you, Steve Scoes. I'll read the rest once I've got that block in. I uh, hope you had a nice Christmas and New Year's. Uh, yes, I did indeed. I ate and drank until I could eat, eat nor drank no more. Oh! Okay, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. So yeah, I hope uh, you also had a good Christmas and New Year, Steve Scott. And thank you so much for Super Chat. Right, so if I put this one, like, no! Oh, press wrong button. Okay, that's, that's ruined my bottom layer because this purple one here is definitely covered up an annoying hole. So the, it's these, these ones. They're a bit more... You have to use your brain a bit more. Okay, that should have slotted in okay. This one, that's two now, so I can pop that in there. See that? Okay, this one straight down here. That's good. And I'm going to put this singular one here. Still hasn't popped a, a thingy. Right, that should fit in. There we go. Okay. Ooh, look. So the purple one, the blue one, is deeper than the purple one, so I should just be able to slot that in. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, thanks for subscribing, Essex Retro Gamer. Thank you so much. Hope you, uh, hope you are also having a good day. Uh, let's reverse, and that should fit in there nicely. Cool. So not only did I uncover the whole... Um, I became a worthy opponent. I won't lose the next game. You won't lose the next game, mate. We'll see about that. Well, that's what we don't have enough smack talking AI in video games, uh, do we? Block out. Block out. <laughs> Block out. Let's go down there. This is a wiggly one. That can go there. Oh, this is... What am I going to do with this one? I'm going to... Absolute fuck it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to... Shit! Oh my god, it's going to... It knew. How did it know? How did it know I was going to mess it up? It is sentient. Not only is it sentient, it's a fortune-telling robot as well. Oh, wait a minute, I've just realised. Oh, fuck! I'm an idiot again. I think I've just realised how you tell the depths. How do I... There we go. It's different colours, isn't it? So everything green is on one layer. Everything purple is one layer. I thought it was a bit like, you know, normal Tetris where you just get random colours on the blocks, but I'm pretty sure it's a different colour for each layer, and that's how you tell I get there in the end. Learning. Not that one. Not that one. No! Knobs. Uh, 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 that one. That one. Okay. And, uh, no. Yeah. That one. Okay, now we need to go like that one. Yes, the blue's gone. Okay, now I can get right down this hole. No, I can't because that one's too big. There's a single one. So that filled the purple hole, but not well enough. Uh, well, we got rid of the green layer. Maybe that, maybe that robot spoke too soon. Maybe I will defeat it. After all, this is a two block. Oh, shite! No! Oh, no! Oh, God, it can hear me. 
What am I gonna do? I fucked it! No! <laughs> you shit ass robot! You knew! It knew! It's too clever. Well, I got my ass handed to me by a robot from the 80s and I wouldn't have it any other way. I Let me warn in. you. You did warn me. Beats me. It's true. Nobody beats it. Nobody beats it. So there we go. Marvel's Jacket Man says uh, the line on the left shows which colour relates to which layer. Oh, does it? Oh, okay, well. Speak of the devil, it's William S. Sessions, the FBI director. Kicking off his war on drugs right here on Platform 32. Uh, so I, I failed to, to beat the sentient AI computer. And I filled a, quite a, a fair few holes. Um, so I think we'll move on. That's a good one. I, I enjoy that one. Do you know what? Um, so are my Evercades. I, te I, t I do tend to gravitate to puzzle games on the um, on the Evercade quite a bit. Uh, I've been I I've played a hell of a lot of Romeo Romeo and Julie Cat, <laughs> which is uh, a bizarre a bizarre Tetris E style puzzler um, that got me through a flight to Cyprus quite nicely. But we've got more. We've got more games on this card to check out, so I can only give them a little bit of time, and I've got to make time for Minky Monkey. Minky Monkey's the best name for a video game ever. It looks like it might be quite an old one. Now, Double Dragon 2 The Revenge is... Um, it's a game that is uh, quite dear to my heart. Not the uh, arcade version, really, but the very, very bad ZX Spectrum port is uh, because I got that for Christmas back in 1989 maybe on the ZX Spectrum plus three disc. I got it from my uh, my nan and uh, me and my brother used to love playing that even though like if you if you check it out now it's like one frame per second and it's like the, the worst to control but uh, yeah because of that like this poster on the box art and everything is just it brings back so many memories for me but everything to do with double dragon 2 is proper nostalgia fest uh, so let's just have a look attack right attack left attack left attack right when you want move and a is jump okay and insert coin is select again Uh, as I mentioned on the Evercade stream on Monday, you can get the home console version. I think it's the NES version of Double Dragon 2 on the... What was it? I, c I couldn't remember the cart last time. I'll have a look this time. It's the... Uh, Technos Collection 1 cart. Which is cart number 10? Yeah, card number 10, you get uh, Double Dragon 1, Double Dragon 2 on there, as well as uh, River City Ransom, Crashing the Boys, Dodgeball, Renegades on there, loads of beat-em-ups on this one. Uh, you get the NES version of Double Dragon 2 on here, which is very different to the arcade version. Uh, this one is the one you would have played, Drugs. You would have played whilst on drugs. Uh, you would have played KSI. Ew. Uh, still banned from AGX. Oh god, the music! Uh... I had this for my specs from Plus 3 as well, but I had it on tape, says Spider-Man 2099. Amazing. Hey, Benedict. New games are ruined by things like correct one-point perspective these days. <laughs> Lol. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, welcome. Welcome to everyone who's joining. 
Love that music. Oh, this is proper arcade visuals. Oh, I need to, I forget when you change the direction, you have to change which button you press for attack forward. Gimme. Oh, mate. This guy with an incredible moustache is beating the fuck out of me. Sit down, sir. And your twin. As much as I admire your ginger tash, I must get further than the first part of the game, please. Yeah, so the the NES version of Double Dragon 2. Very weird, very different. Um, but the Spectrum version of Double Dragon 2 is basically the same as the arcade version. Just slower and crappier. I'm getting my ass handed to me. Where's where's my mate? Where's my bro? Bimmy gone. Bimmy and Jimmy. They're the two brothers, right? Oh, I kicked the wrong way. Just wailed on my nutsack. Okay. Oh, right, I'm going to try some fly kicks then. If you go... Oh. What? These ginger guys are way tougher than I remember them being. It's that arcade difficulty again. Oh, look at this guy. He reminds me of... Um, have, have any of you seen the trailer for the new um, Amazon Prime Jack Reacher show? Wow, he was defeated way quicker than I thought he would. Uh, he looks like the guy who played... He's... Stop it, you fucking pirate twat! Uh, he, he looks like the guy who's playing Jack Reacher. What the fuck? What is up with these onesie-wearing wankers? Wow, wow. Ow. Please. No. Whoa! Throwing knives. He didn't even attack me then. How did that get knocked out of my hand? So, ah, oh, the spinning kick. How did I do that? Be easier without getting knives thrown in my eyes. Ooh, kicking the wrong way now. Um, yeah, so this is definitely the sort of one you're going to want to play with a friend, especially someone who like you know played this game back in the day with you. Like, next time my brother comes up to visit, I'm definitely getting the um, Evercade versus out for some double dragon and. Just for the uh, the nostalgia factor more than anything. Oh, fucking hell. It's way harder than I remember it being. Unless I've just got worse. That is probably the same thing. Right. You're a dick. You just stay down. Fuck! I tell you, this is... This is Ginger Tash. It's intimidating me. He's too, too, he's too manly for me. Shit. Can I run? Oof. No. What was that? Ah! <laughs> throw, <laughs> throw an axe at me. Is, can you do the elbow on this one? Can you do a back kick. The elbow was the move I used to spam all the time on the NES version. Blah. Blah. Oh. Is this the guy that... Yeah, so this guy... You kill him once and he melts away and then he comes back again. It's like one of those Dark Souls bosses that has like... <laughs> It's the second phase you're not going to expect. Ow, ow, ow. I'm schmirgen.
At least it did on the Spectrum, anyway. Or the NES. It was like... <laughs> Sit down, son. Ow! Oh. Ha 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 ha! Yeah. 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 Ah, I got you now. Here you go. It'll melt away. It's like, yeah, I killed him. Oh. Well, shit. He doesn't come back to life in this one, then. It's only on the NES one that he comes back to life. Ian, stop beating up these guys. They're just the local leather club. They ain't hurting no one without a safe word, says Kate Lily. Yeah. Well, in that case... Where's my leathers? This guy's pretty... That guy's a pretty decent gamer. He's got 100,000 G. 100,000 gamer score. So this... Whoop. Whoa! Grenades? There's no need. I remember this bit from the Spectrum. Because... Kept falling down, climbing, and it was hard. Blah! I don't remember this ball. <laughs> Absolutely no, no! Don't you toss your balls at me? I loved up the dragon. Oh, you climb, climb way quicker upwards than you do on the spectrum. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. I'm impressed with the, uh, the amount of uh, redheads in this game. It's about time us uh, fire faces got some good uh, screen time. There we go. Lovely. Ginger mohawks. Look at that! Everyone on here is a ginger except for Bimmy. Oh. God bless you, Governor. Oh, that box is going to LAX. And there's another one from uh, Techno Japan there. Knife! Can I have the. What the fuck? I guess I can't have a knife. Oh! Christ, you used to be able to punch people, knock them out on the conveyor belt, and then they'd, ah! they'd, they'd roll off the edge and die. But uh, instead, I walked off the edge and died. See, that one died. It's a nice, nice way to, easy way to kill them quick. Or at least kill them easy. Knock them out on the conveyor belt and then watch as they get. Why can't I get that knife? Yeah, get watch as they get dragged off to their doom, packaged in a box somewhere. And holy shit, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. incredible use of uh, braces there. We don't get enough video game villains that wear braces uh, anymore, do we? That's what we need. A, a, a villain that's not afraid to have help keeping his trousers up. <laughs> boff, boff, biff. It's no mo no point fighting me, buddy. I've got all the coins. I got nine credits. <laughs> you don't give a fuck about. He's like, I don't give a fuck about your credits. Just backhanding me. Stop backhanding me. It's rude. There you go. Ow. He's really just slapping me down. I think his weakness is flying kicks. My weakness is being slapped. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Let's try and knock him onto the fuck conveyor belt. Yeah, see you later. No, you go. You go down the hole. Down the hole. Ah, oh, you bastard. So close. So close to a cheap ass victory. They're the best kind of victories. Cheap ones. Okay, let's try. Okay, here we go. Right. Ah, oh, oh, well, he's dead now. 
Point, point. We're on to mission three. Well, I'd love to show you mission three, but I've, that, I took a while with that one, and we've got plenty more games to show you on this Evercade cut, so let's move on. Classic, Double Dragon 2. Big fan. Um, not very good at it after all these years, but, you know, once my brother comes around and I play it with him, uh, maybe I'll do a little bit better with some backup. This is Double Dragon 3, the Rosetta Stone. This came out in 1990. I remember this being... I play, I reviewed really badly, I think, on the Spectrum. I don't know whether it's um, any good on the arcade. I don't think I've ever played the arcade version, but I remember it. I, I always remember Double Dragon and Rosetta Stone being kind of regarded as the shit one. But um, that could have just been because. <laughs> because of that. Bimmy and Jimmy. Whoa. Iruko. Find the three Rosetta Stones, then go to Egypt. Let's insert some coins. Push appropriate button. I'd rather push the inappropriate Mission button. Mission 1. America. Mission 1 America. Pretty sure this one had a shop. That you could, yeah, a weapon shop that you could go in. Yeah. What would you like? You only need one coin. Oh, I've got if three you coins. You can use so, synthesized speech, excellent. I've only got a certain amount of time in the shop Edit, before the she kicks me out, I guess. Tricks. Silly rabbit Edit, tricks for kids. Okay, well, I've, I've done something. Graphics in this, like, huge. Well, well, the frame rate. Like, the animation is, like, really slow. <laughs> the walking animation is like two frames or something. Maybe, maybe they had to have it like that to get the extra detail in the graphics. Because graphics-wise, it's way more detailed. It's like a really good-looking like kind of game. Considering uh, Double Dragon Two was only two, what, two years before. But the way he walks is like a flick book. That, that kick's quite smooth. Well, the kick is just too far. The walk is like chuk 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 chuk, which is a bit weird. Oh, now he's walking smooth. He walks a lot smoother when the screen is scrolling, weirdly. That's a cool car. It's a very bizarre. One. Kick. It looks a little bit like he's wearing high heel boots when he does his really high kick. It's fashion! Come here, buddy. Yeah. I go in there? I did. Now what's happening? Bikes! On here. I'm safe now. Do I have to do I have to kill these leaves? Hup! Hup what? Why can't I kick? Hup! There we go. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you are no one to get up from that. It's so weird how like he seems to when it's scrolling he seems to walk fine, but when it's as soon as the screen stops. It's like Chugsville, USA. Hey, another ginger. Say Texaco Leather Man. So this is where the leather, the leather uh, club gets all their leathers from. The Texaco Leather Man. I wonder if he's got a website. This music's giving me acid flashbacks. Is uh, Alex B? Hey Jessica McCoy, how's it going? Uh, who else is joining? When in 64 bits is there? Anthony Frage is Jessica Time. McCoy. Welcome back. Um, interesting facts. This was the first ever game with microtransactions. Oh, because of the coins in the shop. That's quite interesting, yeah. It's 
See, this is easy. It's, I'm finding this way easier than double jump too. The enemies seem to... <laughs> that guy's like laughing at me. He's laughing his tits off. Definitely a, a better selection of uh, enemies and a better variety of enemy moves. Ooh. Everyone else seems to be quite nice here. It's quite decent though. I'm, I'm, it's definitely way better than the Spectrum Ooh. move. Do I go in here? Can I go in? So let's go in. I'm going in. What would you like? Only need one coin. Well, uh, can I just? Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> I'm gonna buy all of them. I can only buy. Ah, oh, I ran out of time. Oh! Oh, shit, I bought nunchucks and then instantly lost them. Stop face palming me. The only person allowed to face palm me is me, and I do it constantly. Mm. Normally because I've made terrible mistakes. How do I get it? How do I get my nunchucks? <laughs> that guy's in his pajamas. Velvet Jimmy Jones. Give me the. There we go. For fuck's sake, I'd only just pick them up. I like that he does it. He does proper Bruce Lee, like, behind the back catches with them. Wonderful. Yeah, you stay down. Yeah, really good, um, really detailed graphics on this one, considering... Uh, there was only a, a two-year gap. You'll have to kill me before you touch the stone. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> Someone's been watching Bruce Lee movies and... There was a time, wasn't there, when it was very easy for video games to get away with... Uh, Basically ripping off real world people as their bosses. Hey, uh, Balrog, aka M. Bison, aka whatever the boxer was called in Street Fighter 2. Uh, all right, it's nearly it's nearly seven already, so I need to move on to the next one. That's good. That is good. Surprised surprised me uh, that because I was expecting it to be utter poop pants. Okay, Mania Challenge. Never heard of it. This is player versus player, is it? So this might be uh, a professional wrestler called to Dynamite Tommy. The time has come for you to face off against the fierce fighters of the TWF. Can you prove yourself in the ring? Um, punch, attempt, pin, kick. Now, I don't like wrestling games very much, so I probably won't spend too much time on this one. It's made in 1986. Two players can face off against one another. Made by Technos Japan. You can do you versus a computer or player one versus player two. I wonder how you do player one versus player two. I presume if I press start on this controller, it'll kick off me versus the computer. But what if I put in a second controller and press start on that? Let's find out. Let's find out if this has started a... Yeah! Look at this! I'm beating myself around the ring! <laughs> so yeah, I... I uh... How do I get down? I, I currently am um, controlling both Wrestlemans at the same time. Look at those people in the background, they're all like, oh, oh my god! They're all staring in slack-jawed wonder at the wrestling... What? Wait. Does TWF stand for the Wrestling Federation? <laughs> Incredible. So yeah, nice and easy to set up a two-player match on this, anyway. Boff. 
And uh, there seems to be some good, uh, good little animations with the wrestling. Nice bit of pixel art. I like the bold referee wandering backwards and forwards. I think he's looking for his contact lens or something. I don't know what he's doing. The cameraman down the bottom is pretty cool as well. Can I attempt to pin? Which one am I? This one? Oh, okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and attempt to pin. Kick in the face. Attempt to pin. Oh no, I've picked him up. Oh. Maybe that is not the attempt to pin button. Oh, right, that was cool. Okay, there we go. I'm attempting a pin. <laughs> the guy who recorded the voice for that was having the best time. Uh, hey Spiffy Mark, this feels like a good one to bring out when folks come round for drinks. It certainly does. It certainly does. Uh, right, but I don't really like wrestling games too much. That seems pretty decent though. Controlled nice, but I need to get through these so I can get on to the next one. Uh, this is one I've been looking forward to trying out the most. Minky Monkey. Oh yeah. Minky Monkey um, is uh, the best name ever that I've ever heard. So uh, I'm definitely going to be diving into some Minky Monkey, that's for sure. Right. All right, there we go. Okay. Why is Bert from Ernie in the crowd, says Martin Stuneberg? He's, he's popping up all over the place. Guest appearances and stuff. Okay, we got B is jump. And that's it. Move and jump. Okay, nice. Follow the monkey's instructions to take fruit up or down the ropes to score successes. But watch out for that mischievous minky monkey who wants the fruit for himself. Uh, this was made in 1982. This is a real old arcade game, huh? Hey, Isabel Healy. Good morning from Australia. What a nice way to wake up to. Well, what a nice comment to have um, at 7 o'clock p.m. GMT here in the UK. Uh, hey, Isabel. Thanks for coming along. Hey, Brent Irwin as well. Uh, and also Abyssal Rainy uh, Rainbow. Lots of new names uh, watching at the moment and commenting. Hello, all of you. Uh, welcome. If you're coming along for retro stuff... I've got an Evercade playlist where I've gone through every single Evercade cart made, except for um, Evercade Arcade Cart 2, which I'm going to do next, and Evercade cart, Arcade Carts 3 and 4, which I'm doing next week. Right. Uh, coins in. Pew, pew, pew. Complete five monkeys' messages. Proceed to the next level. Failure to complete five messages, lose a life. All right, I'm ready. Oh, what's the... Bring up an apple. Okay. <gasps> Fuck you, Minky Monkey! Okay, that worked. All right, that's... Oh, oh, Minky Monkey! What an asshole. Wow, he really is a Minky Monkey. Okay, bring up an apple. What am I? What am I? I seem to have a bomb for it. Am I a literal bombhead? Don't! Mickey Monkey spat on me! <laughs> I like this one. Um, not just because it's got a name that sounds rude. Um, but also uh, the fact that um, I have a very old arcade machine in the corner of my room. Oh, what? What happens there? Do you die if you hit the floor? Oh. Uh, I have a very old arcade machine, a bomb jack arcade machine, in the uh, in the corner of my room over there. And it, it's about the same kind of tech level as this, to be honest. Although that one plays a very nice rendition of the Beatles' Lady Madonna. Thanks for putting up the uh, Evercade playlist in the chat. I wasn't looking at us. What? What? Did I win? Did 
Did I get five successes? I think I got five successes there. Uh, yes, Isabel Healy says Minky. Yes, Minky. <laughs> Minky was the, um... Uh, was the name a presenter at Gems TV used to call her, um, her hoo-ha when she was a wee child. And then, uh, there were cleaning cloths in, um, at Gems TV for cleaning, um, jewellery items that were called Minky cloths. So, uh... We obviously had a lot of fun with the minky cloths. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Bring strawberry. I'm getting better. I, I still don't know what I am supposed to be. Bring a strawberry and a pineapple. I presume I've got to not get stung by the flying snake. Can I get that pineapple when it's on the floor? Okay, I don't want to touch. I don't want to touch the floor again. The floor seems bad. Oh, bring down. Now I need to bring them down. Ah, oh, Minky Monkey, no! Ah, oh, little bastard having a dance up the top there. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't realise. Well, what is wrong with your character's face, as Carl Richardson? I literally have no idea. He looks like he's in pain. Oh, definitely in pain now. Hey, Zomojo. Is it just me or is the game audio a bit loud, says Ichinisa? It could be. Uh, I can bring it down if you need. Um, yeah, some of the... Because all these games are a bit different. Um, the, the audio levels are going to be different. Um, sorry, I didn't notice it was a bit too loud earlier. Um, that's me. I've minky monkeyed out. Wait a minute. How do we... How does this work? H-I... Cool. Well, that's an interesting way to do it. Ed. Choo. It's gone. Okay. Uh, that was Minky Monkey. Excellent. It's everything I ever wanted it to be. Hey, go and enjoy work. Name Filer Inspired Zombie. I uh, hope you have fun. I'm going to look forward to the rest of this on demand. And Name Filer Inspired Zombie says, See you later. Uh, thanks for posting the EverK playlist in the Twitch chat. Gavin. Okay, so we're on to Mysterious Stones. Maybe. This is two players. Dr. John. No, not that one. Which one is Dr. John? Uh, is on a mission to uncover the lost treasures of various crypts around the world. It's up to you to help him. 1984 this one was. Kick and fire pistol and move Dr. John. Wait, hold on, one more bit. This looks like it might be quite good fun. Thanks for all the bless yous. Oh, look at this, this is cool. Okay, here we go. To the Andes. Where are the Andes? They're on the end of your armies. Dr. John's Adventure, 1984, Technos Japan. This looks cool as fuck. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, and the, so there's just gems lying on the floor. This is cool. This, this one looks like it's going to be really imaginative. I'll cross one of these beams. I'll find, what the, I think I just got eaten by a uh, an anthropomorphic alligator. Do I want to go up? Well, I can only go up. There's three different ways to go, which is interesting. Pew, 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 That's fun. Okay. Oh, no, I'm stuck in there. Okay, can I kick... Oh, hold on. Can I, can I kick that? No, kicking that doesn't work. I don't know what the kick's for. It's 11, 11 a.m. 
Oh, I can, oh, okay. I can kick these eggs and they roll around. Do I get anything good out of them? Oh, shit. <laughs> I've never played this game before. If you can sell to continue, push kick or gun button. I want to continue the game. To New York? Why are we going to New York? I want to go to the Andes. Oh, wait, is this New York? Wait, what? Did I... Did I miss it? Oh no, I'm here. Okay, right. Okay, there's a... There's a parrot with a sword. I've seen that off. I don't know what these balls are, but they're doing them nothing. Okay, can I kick these again? Yeah, oh. Oh, and that's opened up. There's some sweets and something. And that was fashion. Screw you. Okay, I'm getting that. Is this a, um, a legally distinct version of the Indiana Jones theme tune? Was Indiana Jones out when this came out? I don't feel like it wasn't, but it definitely... Yeah, even Abysmal, Abyssal Rainbow thinks it's an 8-bit uh, iteration of the indie theme. I can't remember when Indiana Jones came out, but I thought it was after 1984. Maybe it wasn't. I've got a cane. Oh, the cane. Ooh. Whoa, what the... F it's, it's Slimer. Okay, I've shot a ghost. Turns out you can't shoot... F oh, no! I got absolutely singed. Ooh. Sweet, though. What the hell is that angry little man with the stick doing? Ah, oh, nuts. Oh, Razor Lost Start released in 1981. What? See, the reason I think Raiders of the Last Ark released um, after that is because I was too young uh, to see it when it first released. So, like, I remember seeing it when I was young, but for the first time. Okay, right. So that that's, that's a cool game. I like that game. I'm definitely going to play more of that off stream because I want to get to the bottom of what's going on. Uh, but I need to... Because I've only got 45 minutes left. Let's have a quick look at the Combat Tribes. Uh, Combat Tribes 1990 beat them up for three players. So that's cool. So I can actually do that now because I've got my um, I've got my Evercade handheld as a controller and I've got two Evercade versus controls. So that's cool. Uh, we got Punch Kick. Kick Punch. It's all in the mind. Let's do this. Alex K. Hansen saw it in the theatre in 1981. Holy moly. Whoa! Look at that guy's haircut. Holy fuck. That's incredible. How do you get that kind of volume? Act 1. The Motorcycle Nuclear Warheads. <laughs> this game sounds like it's loud as fuck. Let's put that down. Okay. I'm going to insert some coins. Oh, I think I pressed the appropriate button. Here we go. I like the detail in the, the shops in the background. Uh, I've got a little video store in the background. Ow! Boff! Bonk! Whoa! I smooshed their faces together. This is pretty awesome. 32nd Street! This game was made for me. <laughs> it's quite nice playing a character who's absolutely ginormous compared to the other characters once. It reminds me of two crude dudes. I can pick up a motorbike and throw it, yes! And you and you pudding bowl haircut. Bonk bonk. Can I get a chicken out of the letterbox? No, I can't. But I can biff a biker on the nose. Fling. <laughs> Blurb. Move. Move this way. Oh, I missed. 
Oh no, I didn't. Whoa, look at that guy's haircut. This game has got the best haircuts, or the best worst haircuts in the entire world of games, I think. Holy shit. Two crude dudes, that's on Evercade, isn't it? Uh, it is on the Evercade, Benedict. Uh, yes, it is indeed. All right, well, uh, this looks cool. I like this one, um, but I'm going to move on because I've only got 45 minutes left and there are 10 games on the, the next cart, the Data East cart, so I need to get on to that. Uh, if I wanted, um, I could... Um, Place the data east cart in the console as well. And then I'd get all the games on two carts in the console, but I'll get confused. So I'm just going to eject that one. So we just have now all the games on the cart. The on uh, All the games on the data east cart now in view. I've heard of a few of these. I've definitely heard of Bad, du Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja. Um, I used to love that on the Spectrum, and uh, I uh, I put <laughs> I got this for Christmas. I put it on my Amazon wish list. This is the um, Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja mini arcade that you can get. Um, I got this was on Amazon. I just put it on my Amazon wish list, and my mum bought it off there. Uh, you press the uh, the coin button there, and it, it comes on with the game. In there. This version in here, though, isn't the arcade version. This version in here is, uh, I think, the NES version. Um, but you can fully play it with the little controller, a little joystick and the buttons and stuff. It's fully playable. So I've been playing a little bit of that in my downtime. But this will be the actual arcade version that you would have played with your 10Ps or your 50Ps or whatever. It's probably 10Ps back in 1988. Attack and jump move character. Let's see if my practicing with the uh, the NES version on that tiny little con uh, tiny little arcade machine will um, uh, stand me in good stead for this. Okay, so I need to put the coins in. This guy's at the start of the NES version. President Ronnie. Good old President Ronnie. Uh, volume wise, maybe a, up a little bit now? Blur! <laughs> Blur! Okay, so. Okay, let's go. Yeah, pretty similar to the NES version. I don't know if I ever played the arcade version. I only ever played this, this on the Spectrum and. Die! Then he's got it. Wasn't there a band that was named that was inspired by this? Was it, was it, was it Shinobi vs. Dragon Ninja, I think that band is called. Woof woof woof! Hey, no, I want the... Can I... Blah. Can I... Got it! There we go. Street style! I want to go buy some stuff in street style. Got it. Bit of health. Karnov? Karnov was an arcade, wasn't it? These ninjas just appearing out of nowhere. Okay, this guy breathes fire. Blip! Got up. Oh. You can, on, on the NES version, you can knock him back down when he jumps, but it doesn't seem to be doing much when I try it here. No, it just doesn't want to fall back down. Basically the same kind of attack, so... He'll breathe fire soon. Oh, he nearly did. Cancelled his fire attack. Oh, oh sneaky. Please! <laughs> the, the, the voice sound effects in this are amazing. What? Now, bird! Yeah! Ba ba da ba ba 
Black, blue. Got it. Got it. Okay, yeah, this, this level is like really slowly, really slowly scrolls along until you reach the end of this truck. And then the truck stops and there's a guy with knives for fingers. Basically Vega from Street Fighter 2. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. But yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty decent. Definitely a good one for side-scrolling beat-em-up nostalgia lovers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I, I have my uh, Dragon Ninja Spectrum tape somewhere. It was on... I think it was a Hit Squad game, maybe? I can't remember now. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just a, a date release. to release. Teabagging him. Oh! Oh! That was a guy with knives and fingers. He must have been a weaker one. <laughs> Wah! Wah, I'm a big baby! Wah! Tricky. The NES versions are easier. Maybe it's just because I'm not in the rhythm here. I like that you can uh, you can attack from different heights. Okay, we're getting close to the end of this truck ride now. Anyway, almost at the get it. Almost at the boss fight. Dudes, we're on the dudes truck. Here we go. Yeah. Johnny Knife Fingers. Smacking him with my nunchucks. Ha ha. Nunchucks beat Knife Fingers. Oh, I don't know now. Clip. 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 Come on, buddy. He's only got two health left. Oh, oh he's, got, he's got a great reach with those. I bet he gives great back scratches. Come here, you. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Stage two. Uh, uh. What's going on here? What is, uh. Uh, yes. Uh, we're doing, um,. A, uh, a PUBG community stream on Eurogamer tomorrow. Um, it might, I don't know if it's just me or not. Zoe's um, having a few problems with her PC at the moment. Um, and she's also working on another lore video. So I think she's going to do some God of War next week instead. Uh, so uh, I figured considering PUBG has gone free to play and it's currently doing massive numbers on Steam. Uh, I figured I'd uh, it'd be now would be a good time to try and um, get another PUBG stream in on Eurogamer because as you know I love PUBG. Uh, Aoife's not as keen on it, and uh, neither Zoe. So uh, I find it hard to convince them both to play it with me. But this time I was like, hey, do you know what I'm gonna? I, I tell you what, I can fill it. I can fill that gap. How about I do a, 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 a PUBG stream? So it could just be me. I'm hoping that Aoife will come along as well though. Um, She's worried she'll be terrible at it, though, because she hardly ever plays it. <clears throat> okay, this is Breakthrough, 1986. Shoot'em up with two players. And it has... Not worked. There we go. It has worked now. Okay, Breakthrough. What is this, then? I've never heard of this game. I probably won't spend too long on this one. Looks like kind of like an old. Well, it does look like an old one. Break through the enemy lines and rescue your PK430 aircraft. The enemy is holding 500 miles from here. Put some credits in. Bring this one down a bit. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at the car doing a little jump. Oh. Those mines. Okay, I wasn't expecting much from this, but I already kind of love it. The little sprites remind me of um, 
Walker for the Amiga. Oh shit, was I supposed to jump over that? Uh, I'll still, yeah, I'll still be doing the uh, the usual Friday night community stream here on uh, Platform 32 as well. So don't worry if you miss out. But I need to get a haircut. I keep seeing it out of the corner of my eyes. Big fluffy mess. Okay, how do I get over here? Whoa! Like that. Shit me, that's a... Oh. Yeah, I got really keen for playing some more PUBG on Eurogamer, especially after um, I rediscovered a fuck the cinematic videos I used to make. Ah, oh, they only made two, but they were excellent. They were a pain in the ass to make, but they were excellent fun. You little bastard! This is not gonna, not gonna lie, it's tricky. It's tricky, but I love the uh, I love the little the pixel art animations on this car, especially the way it jumps like that. I like the little oh, the little dinky sprites. Not a big fan about how it's handing me my ass though. <laughs> Maybe wheels could play so stupid as well. I mean. That would be lovely, but I'm pretty sure Wheels has got his own channel that he needs to work on. I, I only have been able to manage to get hold of him for one VR corner. He's always so busy. Playing with all those cardboard things. Calls them games, but they don't even have any graphics. Oh, look at this! Now, now, now I've got a three-way. I'm doing much better. I do love a good three-way. Nothing more satisfying than nailing a great three-way. If anything, I don't have enough of them. Short, short-lived, short-lived three-way, but that's how I roll. Okay, that's pretty good that um i quite like that game i'm not gonna play any more though because like i said uh i'm running out of time rapidly and i've got many more games to show off on this disc burger time is a classic 1982 classic peter pepper needs your help to assemble the world's biggest bur the biggest burgers in the world but mr hot dog mr pickle and mr egg have other ideas b to throw pepper And then that's about it. I'm, it's, I feel like Burger Time is on another Evercade car. If it's not on another Evercade car, I've played it somewhere. Um, recently. I need to put some coins in. So what you do, you just uh, you run over each ingredient and to make it... Oh, crap. Oh, I got killed by an egg. Um, that's salmonella for you. So you have to run over each ingredient to make it fall down. To build a burger at the bottom of the screen, like so. Obviously, you've got to avoid the murderous hot dogs and angry eggs. Ah, and dropping the dropping the ingredients on their heads also kills them, which is good to know. Okay, I've made one burger. Oh fuck! Ah, missed the ladder. One delicious burger. <laughs> Three ways have been hard to come by during the pandemic lockdown, says Gavin. Wait, what did what did you think I was referring to? meant the guns. Buff. Oh god, the egg! That egg is just so violent. Ah, oh, only partially pushed the burger down. 
This is a fun game, though. This is this is an absolute classic. Uh, and I'm glad to see it on the Evercade cart. Might not be to everyone's taste. Get it. But the chances are, if you're a, a gamer from the 80s, you will have played some instance of Burger Time. These hot dogs are so angry. Did I lose? Did I get that ice cream then? Felt like I didn't, but I definitely got near it. Okay. Uh, here we go. Screw you, egg. An egg and a burger is pretty deep. I quite like a fried egg and a burger when I uh, make up a uh, when I make a homemade burger. Uh, all right. Well, that was burger time. You know what you're getting with a burger time. Uh, hey, thanks for putting the cinematic as Fook PUBG replay video in the chat, Night Cat. And Gavin has done a, uh, a playlist of all the PUBG fun that EG used to have. Yeah. Good times. We were very crap, but we still had good times. I only ever won one game of PUBG in the entire time we played it on Eurogamer. Okay, chain reaction. Oh, uh, something similar is on a cart, an Evercade handheld cart. Oh, there is a Data East collection, so I'm guessing that's where Burger Time was. Yep, here we go. Yep, so there's a Data East collection one cart, cart number three. Uh, for the handheld, it can also be played on the Versus, though. This has got Bad Dudes on. That'll probably have the uh, NES version of Bad Dudes on. It's got Midnight Resistance on. Does this have the arcade version of Midnight Resistance? Oh, it doesn't. Gutted. Midnight Resistance is pure banger. So good. It's got two crude dudes on it, though, this uh, Data East cart. It doesn't have this... What does it? What's that? No, that's Joe and Mac. Magical Drop. Okay, it's Magical Drop. Uh, Magical Drop has similar characters to this game. To Chain Reaction. Maybe they're the same characters. Different. Different game. It's kind of got like a... Oh yeah, it's different game. It's the same kind of gameplay. I think you pick up... Pick up the bits, try and then make a, you know, a line out of them. Not 100%. If that's how it works, yeah, you just grab a load, bang them up there, try and chain them all together. This is very similar to Magical Drop from what I remember playing it on the handheld. Um, yeah, kind of like a, a reverse Tetris. Or, not, or like a, a Tetris where you steal things and then send them back again. Nice! Boom, boom, boom. Why can't I pick them up then? Good job. Good job. That, was quite, that was quite a cheerful little game. One for the puzzle lovers amongst us, I think. Nice. Okay, okay. And that one, and that one. That one, that one, and that one. Good job. Good job. Oh, yeah, nice chain there. Nice. This horse, this horse. Is there a, am I going to complete this or is it just, like, is there a level to do? I don't really know. Or am I just going to have to keep going at this until I eventually run out of lives and die? Nice. Okay, let's get these. Oh, this S is. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Don't really understand what the S one does, but never mind. Nice. 
Bang. Oh. These ponies are going to be the death of me. Why can't I... What if I... Can I join it to an S? Ooh. Nope. Pressing the wrong buttons. They're, things are falling down so fast. And blonk. Okay, horse, horse. Well, that didn't explode either. Crown, crown, crown. Horse, horse, smoosh. I don't know. I don't know how we get rid of the S's. That was a nice big chunk, though. So if I go in here, that'll get loads. Boom. Does the S? Maybe the S means solid. Boom. I don't know. I think I'm going to start struggling now. Eep. <laughs> yeah, that the anime character in the, in the background is starting to worry quite a lot. You and me both, animate. Oh, no, oh, oh! Somehow they vanished. This is definitely the sort of game that I probably needed to have read the instruction booklet for. Why? Are you, why, why are you doing that? Oh no! Help me! Help me! Ah, uh, lost. S goes with the S, I think, so it's night cat. The S pieces need to be together. Oh. Uh, okay then. Well, well. That's chain reaction. We'll move along. Seems like fun though. Darwin forty seventy eight. God, I'm going to have to live a long time if I'm going to get Darwin 4078 into a Games What Predicted the Year video for Eurogame, eh? Uh, fire and drop bombs. B fire, A drop bombs. Cool. This is a 1986 shoot 'em up. If you're playing this video game outside of the country in Japan, you're involved in a crime? Oh, shit! I, I just, fuck. I didn't mean to broadcast a crime on the internet. Um... Fuck. Uh, don't grasp me up, please. Oh, no. What am I going to... Oh, God. Maybe maybe I can get away with it if I just don't tell anyone. Oh, God. Okay. I wasn't looking then. I was reading the comments. I'm hoping it... <laughs> FBI opening up. No, please. Please don't dub me in. Oh, fuck, this is difficult. I've been thrown off by the fact that I might I am now a criminal. An internet criminal. I can't believe Evercade have, um, uh, have made me an accomplice to crime. <laughs> Hey, I'm having another three-way. Today's turning out to be quite a good day. Oh, I can drop a bomb and break the the floor. I'm trying to... Ah, oh, fuck. I was trying to kill that flappy thing down below with a bomb, but it didn't really work. I don't know what Miss Eve means at the top. Junglist Missive! <laughs> there he is, officer. I saw him do it with my own two eyes, says Neil Smith. Wait, I'm the crime. Evercade is the accessory to crime, says Kate Lily. Oh, shit. I knew, I knew video games would be my eventual downfall. I just thought it was because I have a heart attack through my sedatory lifestyle but no 
It's because I did a crime with this random arcade game from Japan. What are you? What, are you, what even are you? What? A, whoa, there's so many lasers. Oop. Herbert Herp. There's some interesting enemies and things, but I honestly, I feel like I've played a million games like this in my time. Come here, you winged prick. Ah. Superate. I don't know what superate means. Wait, what the f is this? Where am I now? Did I make it to another level? Or did it just walk me to another level because it felt sorry for me? Uh-oh. Ah, it's interesting. It's all right. It's interesting. Um, a little bit scared of it because it made me into a criminal. Though, I'm going to just start again. What does it say? Because I couldn't... Uh, stop! Use and export of this video game outside of the country of China, Japan, even. is a vi It's a violation! This game is a violation! Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Gate of Doom. Let's check out Gate of Doom. 20 minutes. How many? How many five games left. I've got 20 minutes left. I'm going to go a bit quicker. Gate of Doom. This looks cool. Two players. Gate of Doom casts you as one of four characters. Commanded by the King of Etrulia to save the realm from the evil Volov and his right-hand man, the Black Knight. Taking place in a medieval fancy world, obviously inspired by Dungeons and Dragons, uh, even more so than sim earlier similar games. Each of the players, wow, that's okay. This I, I don't play video games to read, so let's just go into it. In the kingdom of Etrulia, there is an ancient legend. Should the people of the world of the credits. The kingdom of it. This game needs to say Etrulia more. Whoa. They look powerful. Shit. No, never pick the wizard. Strong weapon. I mean, the wizard does have nice legs, to be fair. But I'm the knight. <laughs> I'm the knight. <laughs> I'm going for the knight. May the gods guide you in your quest to save the kingdom. Okay, thanks. Uh, okay, so whoa! This is quite cool. I've never heard of this game before. I like this like kind of weird isometric viewpoint beat 'em up style. Very interesting. Most beat em ups in the arcades were, you know, 2D side scrolling affairs. This is a go anywhere, like, you know, scroll up, scroll down, scroll in a diagonal kind of thing. Is that a Minotaur? Stay away from me, you buff, sexy Minotaur. Ah! Oh. Nice little dance as he died there. Why is his skeleton not dying? What's up with you, sir? Is that the end? Oh. Oh! I've. My special move is to roll into a ball. Okay, a very slow moving ball. But it's doing it for me. What's that? Ichibod Clay. Okay. Zombies. Seems quite awesome. Oh, I'm confused now. Oh, my controls have been in, in reversed. Is that from touching that zombie? Can I go through that door? Am I... Oh, no. It's it's worn out. Can I get through this door? Oh, I can. Nice. Nice explosion. Ooh, chests. Alright. Ow! Oh, dead. I think I've got my magic back. Have I? Nope. Don't know how I tell when I've got. Whoops.
This music means business. Wow, I picked up a fist. Calibar. Oh, now I'm f now I'm fire. Just fire on the ground. Just the thing I need to defeat an aerial enemy. I mean, this seems pr this seems pretty cool. I like it. Uh, but I'm gonna skip on because we've got a few more to see. Gate of Doom Dark Seal. I'm going to play more of that off stream. I want to. I want to see what that is all about. Uh, it seems like there's quite a lot of depth to that. Um, I do like the the pictures of the arcade cabinets next to them. Lock and Chase. Okay, this is a uh, some kind of Pac-Man style ripoff. You're a thief. Break into a vault. Grab the coins and nab any other treasure you see. But watch out because Stiffy, Scandy, <laughs> Smarty and Silly from the Super D security force are hot on your tail. Uh, if Super D sends it Stiffy after me, I'm going to be worried. I can uh, close the door with a B or I can uh, move with thumbstick. Okay. Time to avoid a Stiffy, everyone. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba oh, uh, so sorry, I'm not playing the game at the moment. Um, so Spiffy Mark says the sequel is on there too. So that must be Wizard Fire. Must be the sequel to Gate of Doom. I I must admit I've not read the instruction booklet for any uh, for any of these games. So this is basically Pac-Man, but I can. I can block off the feds. Keep away from me, Stiffy. Oh, no. Oh, cuffed by Stiffy. Oh, no, not Officer Stiffy, says Claire T-Rex. Oh, yes, yeah, Stiffy, Captain of the Super Ds, says Kate Lily. You've really got to watch out for um, Officer Stiffy. Oh, shit. It's tricky. It's tricky. All right. That's a bit. That's, I want. I wanted to spend a bit more time with um, Slice By because everyone remembers Slice By. This is one I had. Um, I had this one on the Spectrum, but I think it's completely different. Uh, B is fire. A is jump. The year is nineteen ninety X. And the Council for World Domination is about drugs, is about to launch a missile. Look at this guy. Pneum. Oh my, Slice Pie. That was, that was a very sultry, sexy voice, wasn't it? Right, let's put some cash in. Enter your security clearance code by using the joystick. Uh... What does that mean? Oh. No hints as to what that security clearance might have been. Maybe that's like a level skip cheat on an arcade game. I don't know. Watch out for the pieces of legendary golden gun. Grab enough and you get a big boost in firepower. Says the okay, this is not the game that I remember playing. This thing's quite cool, though. I like the fact that we just... I'm just plummeting to Earth, shooting dudes. Yeah! Fuck you! I'm all about the sky murders. Nope. Grenade! That <laughs> grenade was rubbish. Rubbish. Ah, oh. Oh, dogs! Oh. Okay, not much of a spy if I can only shoot left and right. Did my training not involve, like, enemies above? Great shot. Great shot. One of CWD's leaders is escaping by a black car. Look for a black sedan. Oh! Wow, this is awesome. Whee! Oh! Okay, I 
don't know what game I was thinking of when I thought of Sly, Sp Sly Spy. Maybe Sly Spy is different on the spectrum. Or maybe I'm thinking of someone else. I'm not thinking of Spy vs. Spy. I'm even thinking of something like Spy Hunter or something. I'm not sure, but... This is cool. Duh! <laughs> Wee! What's up with me? Oh, bleh. <laughs> oh my god, I've had a heart attack on my motorbike. A nuclear missile has been set. Shit. Ah, oh, the nuclear missile has been reset. That's a lot of pressure to put on children in the 80s. Oh, I can I can fire upwards now. The f I remember everyone being terrified of nukes in the 80s. When I time travelled back there because obviously I wasn't alive in the 80s. And, um... So they have that kind of pressure at the, to put in money. Play another round of this game or everyone you know and love will die. Okay, I'll play your game. Ooh. What kind of car is that? <laughs> Bleh. Oh, there's another one. Oh, fuck. Okay, more are coming out. What a bazooka! Sir. Go got him. Yeah. Three people Wait, sitting in the back of that car. Well, that game's pretty damn awesome. Uh, that's c That game's great. I'm definitely going to play more of that one as well. Tumble Pop. Ooh, is this like a um, Rainbow Islands y kind of bubble bobbly style thing? Maybe Pang? It's time for some alien chasing, mutant busting, tumble popping action. Suck up foes with your monster bashing vacuum cleaner, then blast them back at your enemies to clear out the stages. Okay. Controls uh, B. I have to hold B to suck and release to blow. Hmm, that both sucks and blows. Okay. Tumble Pop is basically Rodland or Parasol Stars, says Dog Party Game. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Aliens! Two play. Oh, I might play with Laura loves um, Pang. Maybe I'll be able to get her to play some of this with me. Tumble Pop. Select a starting point. Let's go here. Suck up enemy. Shoot. Release to shoot. Let's okay. Go. Let's -a go. Oh, so I have to. Okay. So I have to keep it held down while I'm jumping as well. Righty ho, righty ho. Well, let's get those coins. Okay. This seems pretty simple. Yeah, this is definitely like. Definitely in the same vein as all those bubble bubbly style games. I'm not thinking of Rolling Thunder. I'm, I'm definitely thinking of a game called Sly Spy that didn't look like that one. ZX Spectrum Sly Spy. Sly Spy Secret Agent. By Ocean. What? Oh, it is the same. Why do I have no mem why do I remember the game? But not the levels. It's basically the same on the spectrum, so I don't know what game I was confusing it with. But it is the same on the spectrum. I must have it. I think I've just played I think I've just played too many games. Just just played too many games. Okay. So I've I've got limited time left. I need to get my suck on. Oh no! I was not. I didn't suck hard enough. Oh gosh! That, that robot got lipstick on. Well. I'm definitely up for a suck and then. Can I drop that? Yeah, I can drop that. Okay. Oh, I did do it. Thank you. Beep, 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 beep. 
Du, 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 du. Oh. Oh, let's get that diamond before. Oh, right. Oh, I can suck. I can suck up the power ups. That makes sense. Oh fuck! Ah, oh, that conveyor belt shot me off the edge. I wanted to go up and get the coins. I presume if you get a tumble pop, spelling out at the bottom, you get an extra life. So that's tumble pop. Uh, that's quite pleasant. Quite pleasant little uh, pang. Kind of rain. Uh, not really Rainbow Islands. More like yeah, Rodland kind of thing. So that's pretty cool. And we're on to the final game now. Sorry, I've rushed through this this cart a little bit, but um, I have uh, yeah, I d mismanaged my time. I played too much Double Dragon 2, I think. Uh, my dinner is very soon. Uh, hey, thanks for subscribing, Big Scotsman. Welcome to the channel. Right, so this is Wizard Fire, aka Dark Seal 2. The minions of evil will come, but they will be swept away by the shining knights of Wizard Fire. Uh, controls are attack and use magic. So let's try it. Let's give it a go. Okay, I'm going to put some coins in. And start. Very upset that we don't get to see the wizard's sexy legs this time. going to be the elf. Moving max, moving speed is maximal for the elf. Oh, she winked it. Let's give it a wink. This is amazing. <laughs> I don't I had no idea these games existed, but I would have could love this game when I was younger just based on that intro alone. That mushroom, can I kill the mushroom? Hey, thanks for subscribing, Pixie Luck! Welcome to the channel. Uh, ooh, ooh, some good stuff. They legged it, they, they, they know what's good for them. Oh, oh, shit. I think these mushrooms stick you to the floor. Loads of good stuff in this chest. Okay, I guess I think this is two players only again. Oh man, I hope you well uh, I need to get my brother down so I can play a bunch of these. This, uh, this is great. I like this one better than the, the first one, I think. It's a bit more like bombastic. What the fuck? Am I fighting a dragon already? I'm gonna have What the Magic! Whoa, I've turned into a, a swimming lady. I'm fucking swimming at you. Ha ha! I used the power of breaststroke. Okay, maybe it's like Dark Souls. Maybe I need to concentrate on this ass. Oh no. Nailed. Oh! My clothes fell off and I died. Embarrassing. Oh, go on then. Let's be the wizard. Oh. Yeah. There's them sexy legs. Oh no, fire against a dragon. I feel like I may have uh, picked the wrong class. Ow. That's like fighting fire with fire. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> this is epic. Eat shit, it's nearly dead. What's my magic? Did I do my magic already? Can't do my magic yet. I'm a wizard, why can't I do my magic? What is that? Up here, up here, up here, up here, up here. Ah, I'm right under its chin. 
Come and get me. I thought the wizard would be quicker at being able to pull off some magic, but maybe you have to pick up the things to do magic. Maybe it doesn't charge. Got ya! You beast riding shit! Oh no, is this still alive? Okay. Wait a moment. Stage clear! Uh. Yeah, yeah we will, but not today. Well, okay, I'm going to pause that here and uh, wish you all farewell because it is now 8 o'clock and I'm a hungry boy. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for checking out this episode of my Evercade live streams. Um, big thanks to all the new subscribers as well. If you enjoy retro games, I play them fairly regularly on this channel, uh, on and off. Um, I've done basically every single Evercade cart, except for now Evercade carts 3 and 4 of the Arcade Collection which I'll be doing sometime next week, probably either Monday or Wednesday. So keep an eye out on my Twitter, which is up there in the top left-hand corner if you want updates on when those streams will be. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, though. going to be doing my usual Community Console Chaos stream. Um, don't know which or if any of the sausages will be joining me um, tomorrow. I will ask them uh, in a bit and find out but i think uh probably probably do another split gate um i might just do you know what i might just do um, i've been doing three games recently but i might just do a bit of split gate and then a lot of pubg because pubg has gone free to play now and that's going to mean hopefully a lot more of you um watching will be able to join maybe you've um maybe you've been wanting to play but you've not been able to afford to buy it on the PlayStation. Maybe you can't afford a Game Pass subscription to, to play it on the Xbox. Uh, it's free to play now. Um, I, d I don't know if you need a, um, a Stadia membership to play free-to-play games. But if you don't, that means PC players will be able to play it easily as well. Um, you won't be able to use mouse and keyboard. You'll have to, be able, you'll have to use a controller. But you... Uh, if you don't have to pay for a stadium membership to play free-to-play games, then you uh, could join as well. Um, so, yeah, that'll be tomorrow. It's a bit of split game, a bit of PUBG. Um, and there's also going to be some PUBG on Eurogamer. Only about 90 minutes worth from 3.30pm till 5pm to warm us up. But... That means there's going to be many hours of live streams with me on tomorrow. So if you like live streams and you can tolerate me, Friday's the <laughs> Friday's going to be a good day for you because you're going to be able to spend a fair few hours uh, with me and the rest of the Eurogamer and P32 community. No membership is needed for PUBG on the Stadia, says Spiffy Mark. So there you go. If you've always wanted to join but you're on PC and you didn't want to buy PUBG, um, um, Stadia membership. Now you can uh, just sign up for Stadia, uh, not sign up for membership, and still be able to play um, PUBG with us. It's just it's it's locked down to controller only. You can't. It's not like Splitgate where you can have PC and uh, com consoles with controllers playing at the same time. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but um, that's just the way they decided to do it to make the game a bit fairer i guess uh so yeah thank you so much everybody for watching uh yes friday is now ian day says Ga uh, gavin you're correct um yeah huge thanks to uh everyone watching on youtube and twitch have a great rest of your evening um and if you're going off to play some retro games now have a great nostalgia filled evening goodbye i'll see you all tomorrow Ooh, boop.